Eli L. at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Today our special guest is one of everyone's favorite muscle cars, a 69 Camaro. This is one of the cars that no matter what, everyone wants a 69 Camaro. In this case, it's in Z28 trim. When you look at this car, you can't tell that it isn't a real Z28, except when you look at the price. You're not going to have to pay 75 or 80,000 for this particular one. It looks like it, it runs like it, it drives like it, gives you every indication that it's a real Z, but it isn't. It's a tribute car. But when you look at it, it has a small block Chevy in it. In this case, it's going to be a 350. Um, the correct style uh, Z28 valve pan covers, the correct style air cleaner for it. It has a, a double uh, inlet uh, Holly dual pump, uh, in this case, Holly carburetor, with the correct style aluminum intake manifold, uh, dual plane, power steering, high flow, um, four pass radiator with it. The uh, heating lines are still hooked up. Of course, you could not get air conditioning on this particular vehicle. New battery in it. Uh, all the appointments underneath the engine compartment are as nice and clean as can possibly be. Uh, all the structural supports are nice and clean. New hoses on the uh, power steering. Uh, clutch fan, seven blade. Argent centerpiece, the way it would have been from the factory. This is a great, great looking engine compartment. It does have a set of headers on it. Appear to be inch and three quarter. Long tube, give you a nice uh, mid-range and uh, a good torque header for you. A great looking engine compartment. 1969 Z28 style Camaro. Right, as with any 69 Z28 style Camaro, you gotta have coal induction hood. 302 designation on the sides, the way it would have been. Front bumper is absolutely gorgeous in fitment. The grill doesn't have any broken spaces in it. The, the plastic is all very nice. Front spoiler is not torn or marked in any way. The front lance doesn't have any marks on it. The uh, turn signal lamps, parking light lamps are nice and clean on it. Uh, the trim around the uh, grill area itself is nice and clean just the way it should be. As you, if you notice the gap to the uh, fender, the hood, the front fascia, Front pan, everything is nice. It's absolutely gorgeous. The front end of this car is absolutely the way it should be. Very nice fitted car. Okay, Z28 emblem in the front of the grill telling everybody what we are here. And the same thing on the front fender, same thing. Marker lights nice and clean. As you can see, the uh, fender lips nice as can be, correct style. Uh, rally wheels with the correct type for 69 hats in the center. Uh, correct wiper blades and arms on this guy, tinted windshield, trim around the windows, very, very nice, no marks, no dings on it. Same thing with our dripper edge, same as it should be. Um, we got dual mirrors on this one, left and right, the way it would be nice to have, <laughs> and they are. Uh, the uh, whiskers, uh, door uh, window wipes, very, very nice condition. You can see the fitment from the fender to the, uh, the door, really, really nice. Chrome on the handles, looks like brand new as it is on the windows, nice fitment on them. Door to the quarters, nice. Our little louvers on the back are nice. Not pitted up and marked up like most of them are. Fender lips on the back, same deal, no marks or anything. Going down the side of our car. Really nice fit on it. A little bit of an overhang on the uh, driver's door toward the bottom, middle and the bottom. It needs to be adjusted in just a hair. Just noticed it, so we'll take care of that. That won't be an issue any longer. Nice looking car down the side. Very laser straight. Great color. Uh, no marks or deviations on the top. It's kind of a wine color with the white stripes. Really has a nice contrast to it. Uh, correct style steering wheel in it, uh, uh, three spoke. This car is a four speed car because again, you know, it, it's a, a Z28 uh, tribute car, so it would have a four speed only, no automatics in this guy. Interior is very nice in the car. The seats are the standard deluxe interior in it. Um, really nice looking car. Okay, going around the back of our Z28 uh, tribute car. See the bumper fitment is very, very nice all the way across. Uh, tail light lens is very clear, 
no smokiness to them or anything. Uh, rear deck lid fits really, really well on this particular one. Very nice. Spoiler alignment on the uh, uh, stripes and everything is very clean and nice. Great color combination. Really great color combination. Front volance, no marks, no pulls or anything on it. The correct style exhaust tips that would have been on a 1969 Z28 are on this car. Again, Z28 designation on the back, the way it would be in 1969 for a Z. Back end of this car is very, very nice. Appears to have the original hat rack in it yet with a couple of older speakers. Hat rack's really not distorted. It's nice and clean yet. It's original looking. Um, no bang marks around the uh, back windshield trim, back window light trim. It looks very, very nice. Nice straight looking car. Okay, going down the passenger side of our car, again, the side marker light's good. Uh, can't feel any, nope, no marks on the uh, wind, uh, fender lip moldings. Quarter panel, the door, very, very nice on this side, a little nicer than the other side. That one we have to correct. Trim around the windows, really straight and nice. Um, like I said, the wipes are very, very nice on this car. Window alignment's real good. Drip edge, flawless. Great addition, our mirror. Uh, this is a very, very nice straight car. Door has no marks or anything on it. Front fender fitment is nice. Camaro on the nose here. Z28 up front. Um, really a great looking car. Rally wheels. Good color combination. It's like a wineish, purplish, beautiful color with the white uh, stripes. Give it a heck of a contrast to it. Uh, it's not a real Z28. It's a tribute car. It's a style car, whatever you want to designate it to be. No one's going to know that it isn't a real Z28 except you. And you don't have to pay seventy-five dollars or $80,000 for this car. You can buy it at Hangsters for a very, very, very competitive price for an incredibly nice car. This is one of the most desired cars on the market for muscle cars. 1969 Camaro in a Z28 configuration, which is one of the most desirable configurations that you could have a Camaro in. And it's available here. Hi, we're at Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida, underneath our 1969 Camaro Z28 style car. Very, very nicely done car. We already did the uh, walk around on the uh, top part of it, so now we're underneath it, show you a few appointments under here. Um, brand new shocks up front, um, new tie rod ends, new steering box, new pitman arm, uh, new idler arm, uh, inch and five eighths headers, Custom built, deep pan, looks to be about a eight and a half to nine quart pan. New starter, new flywheel and pressure plate and clutch, which I can't see, but I'm sure it is if there's a brand new flywheel on the car. Subframes in the front are real, real nice. No dents or jack marks on them. One very superficial one here, but can't, hardly noticeable. You won't even see it in the video. Um, 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 M21 transmission, brand new shifter in it, all new shift linkage and rods. Everything's still shiny, actually cadmium plated. You can see there's no leaks on the transmission, no leaks on the engine, no leaks on the rear main. Front has new bushings in it. There's drum brakes in the front and drum brakes in the rear of this particular car. This person decided to stay with drums as opposed to uh, switching to uh, discs in the front. The drum stop pretty much as well as the front discs and drum combination does anyway. So somehow it managed to stop itself for the last 50 years. So it'll probably stop itself for a while longer. But it is drums all around in this particular car. The floors are very, very nice in the car. I don't see any real dents or marks or anything on them. They're the standard Camaro floor without the um, substructures that the uh, uh, convertibles have. Fuel line is nice and straight and good. 5 16 on the uh, passenger side. Parking brake assembly is good. You can see it's nice and functional and fresh looking. Two and an eighth main pipes going back to two stainless steel Flowmaster mufflers. 
Car's very, very nice and straight underneath. No issues with the floor pans, as you can see. Where they tie into the uh, rocker panels, there's no rust, no uh, deterioration whatsoever. It's a nice looking car so far underneath, and we're only part way through it. But you can see no leaks, everything's very solid. Subframes are nice. Nice looking car. New drive shaft, brand new U joints, front and rear. Again, stainless flow master style mufflers. Torque boxes are really nice on this particular car. No dents or marks. There yeah, is one little one here from being jacked up through the years. You can't see it, but it is there. A little indentation from the edge of the jack. Multi leaf rear spring suspension. Brand new shocks in the rear drums, as I stated, all around on this particular vehicle. It does have a 12 bolt posi rear in it, heavy duty uh, GM rear. Two and an eighth pipes terminating out the back the way it would have been on a Z28 really. Brand spanking new gas tank, new gas tank lines with it, drop downs into quarters are very very nice. I don't see anything underneath the car that's uh, detrimental to it. it. It appears to be nice and solid uh, other than one little tiny mark that you know from the jack through the years. I don't even see any marks on the frame. Subframes as they continue over the rear housing and toward the back. Uh, real, real nice and straight, no deterioration on them whatsoever. Actually, the, the springs themselves appear to have been replaced. They look like a new set of stacked uh, leaf springs. So you got a real nice straight, new shackles in the back also. So you got a real nice straight, well reconditioned 69 Camaro Z28 style car that you're going to own for a very, very fraction of what the real guy was going to cost you. And it's here at Hangsters, and you can buy it.